Hey YouTubers, I'm at Taco Bell. These all get out 40 something plus miles an hour. So I'm sure the sound will be pitiful on this, but I want to do my first video out and about on my bike. So we'll give her a shot. Uh, this is going to get a weird angle here because I'm going to set the phone. I made a fixture where I can put the phone in my holder, zip it up in my jacket because I don't have anything fancy and don't want anything fancy. Turn on my gas, turn on my choke. Come on, Bessie. There we go. Got to talk to it every now and then. All right. Let me twist my angle just a little bit. Bear with me. I'm getting it here. There we go. And down toward the ground a little bit. All right. That should be good. We'll find out. goodness this is one you can ride with one hand I'll kind of help steady it because this fixture ain't the best cut through the back road so I don't have to mess with Taylorsville Road or any heavy traffic except for Mustangs <laughs> I got him a Georgia buggy over there. Georgia buggy on tracks. Boy, oh, that's cool. That is cool as a cucumber. Let's see, I might be able to keep my momentum. Yes, good. There ain't no cars coming out of this back road. I can get on six mile here and not be taking no chance. This is that little old two and a half horse Briggs cast iron motor. 26 inch twin, made in 85, did a video on it a while back, and man that wind is pushing me everywhere. Gee whee, if I don't push me into that semi, I'll be a lucky man. No, it's not that noticeable, it's not like any other bike, it moves you a little bit. Barbie wasn't kidding. She called me and told me to be careful as the wind was really picking up. So I think all my stuff at home will be blown over. But that kind of stuff happens. The way it goes. I can't tell if my angle's right or not the way I've got my phone situated on a thing in my jacket. We're going to hope for the best. Hold up there, people. That's okay. I'm not. I'm invisible. Just cut in front of me. I can believe it. I'm taking the fastest car here. Put it up. 
knocked away. I don't really know if I had a The old Stuart Warner speedometer that I had on here went bad. The aluminum oxidized and got rotted and the dial shook loose on it. I tried to silicone it in place, but they have to be a lot more rigid than that. So it halfway worked. I left it on for years that way, mainly so I would have the odometer. I wanted to see how many miles I was putting on it. I know I put 2,000 on it since I made it in 85, probably more than that. It's always had a few. I know I've been through, I'm on my third set of tires since 85. First set of rings. So I put in one set of rings, three sets of tires, and one gas cable. Other than that, I ain't done squat today. There you are. Play luck, folks. I brag on it. I screw up today. But maybe not. Come on, brother. Yeah, I'll cook it. I hope this is pointed halfway right. I'm going to watch it as soon as I get home. It's a good video, I'll upload it. And learn from my mistakes. That's just 20 right there. On the speed on this 20 miles an hour. I think that's probably close to right. I'll get somebody besides my wife to follow me. She don't like for me to go fast on the bike. Even with brand new tires. I figure shit. Meteor could fall out of the sky and kill us all today. It would be a thing we could do about it. So. picture of one of my bikes on my YouTube channel where my where a lot of people put their face. I just want to picture one of my bikes so the people have a heads up on what I'm all about before they click on. Here we are back at the Fort Knox. Not really at the lockup shed. We'll soon know how this worked. Let's find a key that will fit the compound here. I got a coat hanger fixture with my phone stuffed in it. Fixed to a Craftsman three-legged light. Hook down in my coat. Jacket, rather. Show you here in a second. Let's see if the lights in the shed work. This is where a bunch of the bikes are. Come on, right? That's just one bulb. That ain't no good. Ah, we got her. One, two, three, four. The girl spike ain't got nothing on it. I want 50 bucks for it though. It's a clean old girl spike. One dent in the back rim. Five, six. Seven and old faithful I've been riding. It's number eight. All right, Wade made motorized mayhem on YouTube. Thanks for watching. As I make some more, I'll keep a posting them. Bye bye.